Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again. This is the Urban Survivor Africa. This is the channel that talks about things that happens in Africa. Deep from Africa, we actually talk about nature and conservation. We talk about wildlife. We talk about tourism and tourist destinations. We talk about current affairs and the celebrations of Africa. For you who are new in this channel, please consider subscribing and activate the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our videos because we drop videos each and every day. And please, if you're watching our content, don't forget to give us the like, the thumbs up, that will support our channel to grow. And please share our channel and videos with your friends and family and those who love to learn things about Africa and those who are willing to visit Africa someday because we're covering everything that concerns Africa. In today's episode, we are talking about the black rhino. We're talking about the black rhino as we are continuing with the dangerous animals that are found in Africa. Well, Africa is very rich in wildlife. We've got different animals, dangerous animals. We also have like the friendly and social animals. But we are covering the dangerous animals. We talked about the elephant. We talked about the lion. We talked about the, the buffalo. We talked about the, um, the leopard. So now we are talking about the black rhino. These are the animals that are found in the big five. We're still going to continue and talk about the hippo and talk about the crocodile and other things that might uh, endanger your life when you are in Africa. But today we are talking about the black rhino. Well, black rhino, one of the massive animals, very big and beautiful. It has got two horns, the front one and the, the rear ones. The horns are following each other like this. This animal is very dangerous. It uses those horns to pierce or to like gouge anyone who intrudes or anyone who encroaches into their uh, territory so you have to be very careful when you are walking in the bush in africa or also when you are doing safari in africa because these animals are very very dangerous and aggressive especially the black rhino black rhino as compared to the white rhino black rhino is very dangerous and aggressive it is so inquisitive whenever they see people they have to stop and look and find out what's going on and when they catch the wind what they do they will come after you these animals have got very poor eyesight, but the, the sense of smell is very acute. So when you are on the other side of the wind, you have to be very careful. Check for the wind, then be on the other side so that they don't smell you. Because once they smell you, you are in trouble, you are in danger. You know, with the black rhino, you can spend the whole day running up and down. It will be coming after you all the time. I've heard some people say it's very easy. To avoid or to dodge um, a black rhino what you simply do you just wait because this rhino will look at you then it will calculate the distance then you will just run straight towards you without any visuals what he is trying to do is to stab you with the hands so you just wait when he is about 10 meters close you just change the direction or like just swerve and go to the other side he will miss and he will go when he goes he will turn around look for you and he sees you standing he will come again do the same thing that means it will be hours and hours of our uh, of, uh, of uh, chasing one another but what you can simply do is just to look for an uphill or the rock something that is a little bit elevated just climb on top there because it has got a very poor eyesight sometimes it might not see you and also it will be very difficult for it to climb the rock and come after you or if there is any chance climb a tree just jump onto the tree then the rhino will just pass by and it goes because it can't see you anymore that's another way of dodging the rhino um charging or the rhino attack but well when are people attacked by the rhinos well, in most cases i normally say we people we are the intruders in each and every animal's life because these animals are found in the national parks and the game reserves but we find ourselves being charged or attacked by the animals because we people go there to look for them, take pictures, to take videos, and to, to, to do all sort of things like uh, scientific activities. At the end of the day, we disturb them and they charge at us. You go to, into the national park, you are in a game drive vehicle, you get too close to an animal, to a rhino, and the rhino is not comfortable. Sometimes it's got uh, babies. You know, animals with babies are very aggressive. Because they are protective they're trying to protect their babies you get too close and you can simply tell that this animal is agitated or irritated by your presence but you still keep on going taking pictures enjoying you have to be careful try by all means to take your, your videos and pictures or anything that you're doing without irritating an animal 
Don't get too close. Don't pressurize an animal. Just give them space to breathe. Just give them enough space so that you do whatever you're doing and you leave the animal comfortable in its environment. Don't make it too uncomfortable because it will end up getting angry and charging at you. And you as humans end up killing animals because we've got rifles, we've got guns. That's what we're trying to avoid in each and every time when we are talking about wildlife. We're trying to avoid people, I mean avoid uh, killing animals because we people when animals are attacking us, we kill them. Yes, there is the, the, the law that allows people to kill animals, especially when they are attacking people. But it will be always because we have provoked them, we have pushed them to the limits or to the edge, and the animal doesn't have any choice. It has to attack. One, it's because you are actually like a posing as threat. Number two, you are standing in its flight way. That's where it has to run away from. I mean, two. So you are standing right there. And the animal is trying to open way and run away from you or from whatsoever threat that it is seeing. But you are standing there. There isn't any way where the animal can uh, run, but it has to run through you. That's attacking you, killing you, injuring you, then he goes. But you, because you've got a rifle, you end up shooting him. Let's try by all means not to get too close to animals. Let's leave these animals. Let's give them the space to breathe. Let's give them it's their comfort zone. Especially with the rhinos, they are very extinct. Rhinos are very extinct worldwide. So please, we try by all means to avoid killing these precious animals because they have charged you, because they have killed people, they are attacking vehicles, they are doing all sorts of things. I've seen a rhino attacking a car, like a truck. These people are sitting in a game drive truck and they are too close. The rhino is very angry. He comes after a truck. Please, if you are on a game drive truck or in a car, if you see that the rhino is very angry, he is trying to attack you. What you can simply do is backing off or maybe driving away. Because during the course of attack, the rhino will injure himself. Sometimes they will break the wounds. You know, many things will happen to them if they are attacking a car. So drive off and leave that animal alone. He is pissed off. He doesn't want your presence. Number two, when you are walking, like doing a walking safari, don't get too close to that animal. At the end of the day, you will be killed or injured, or maybe some of your group members will be injured or killed. If you are a safari guide, please make sure you know the distance. These animals can run too fast, faster than a human being. So for you to be standing there, you have to know that you can't outrun the rhino. They will always catch up with you. So please, if it happens that you encounter that charge, you have a group, Try by all means to stand your ground. Try by all means to shout, making some noise and gestures, raising up your hands and doing all sort of things. Maybe if you have some sticks, try to uh, make some noise using those sticks and whatever, maybe the rocks. Sometimes the animal will just turn around and leave you alone. But if it doesn't happen that way, please back off slowly, back off slowly. Never turn around and start to run away because you can't outrun an animal. Just back off up until you get to a place where you can hide or where you can climb a tree, the rocks, and whatsoever. Well, I hope you are learning something. If you are learning something, please drop in the comment box that I'm learning something. We want your comments a lot. That will help us also to review what we are doing. And also, if you have something in common uh, with the wildlife of Africa or whatever takes place in Africa and you want us to actually uh, put it in our YouTube channel, you just go into the description box and check. There is an email address there and also our phone numbers are there. Please contact us. We will be sure to broadcast and to upload the videos that you send to us, especially the videos that are taken in Africa and the ones that you made yourself. Please contact us through the email address that you find in the description box. And also we have the WhatsApp number right there in the description box. Please, your comments are very much welcome. And uh, whatever you say in the comment box there, we will surely attend to it and we will surely reply to it. And if you have any questions, please bring them. And if you have any contributions, please bring them there this is the ultimate survivor in africa we are proud to be africans please enjoy watching and thank you for watching we will see you in the next video